Uganda loses over 150,000 hectares of trees yearly, hence the Echivira Chakabaka initiative comes as a result of a five-year memorandum of association that was signed early in February 2023 that stood for resource mobilization for the restoration of the forest landscape in all the 18 counties of Uganda and other kingdoms. We should resist those who want to invade the wetlands. Everyone claims they got a license from NEMA to do all sorts of things in wetlands. The question is, why do you want to get a license to build a factory in the, in the swamp? Why do you even seek a license? How, if you're really a genuine investor, fail to find land, you know, that doesn't affect the environment where you can put your factory. Is your factory dependent on the rivers and, and, and waters found in... According to Buganda Kingdom Katikiro, Charles Peter Maiga, the unsustainable use of natural resources has greatly impacted on the biodiversity degradation. From this symposium, we are going to, we hope to amplify, amplify the campaign for Echibira uh, Chakabaka and for the preservation of the environment so that we protect this beautiful country. We need to build strong relations with, with partners like Uganda Biodiversity, with Absa Bank and, and others. You see, the population of Uganda is increasing, that blue one. But the forest cover, I don't know what you can see. The forest cover is that kind of orangish. You see, as the population is going up, the forest cover is disappearing. What is our population today? Where are we heading? There was a call for a combined mass tree growing and nurturing in all communities rather than the usual tree planting. We do believe that uh, the tree cover that is getting lost will be able to recover. And therefore, uh, this uh, symposium is going to restore the, the, the tree cover that everyone needs. By 1994, Uganda had a swamp cover of about 15.6 million hectares, but currently, the country's swamp cover has significantly dwindled to a worrying 10.9 million hectares. Mariona Wori, UBC.